Hi, my name is Simone. I'm the Zen Mommy. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel where I help people with 5D Ascension and Spiritual Awakening. And today I want to talk about um, judgment. And I want to talk about how in order to go to 5D, um, we have to let go of judgment in order to pass over into the fifth dimension and pass over. Um, that's not the right word. I don't mean passing over like you die or anything. But in order to shift to the fifth dimension, you cannot have house judgment within you, okay? And let me explain why you cannot have judgment. Okay, so we are all creators having an experience. We are in a duality creation. Duality means we have good, we have bad, we have evil. These are all labels, okay? This is not, this is... This is really how we're, att we're attaching labels to low frequency, high frequency, low vibration, high vibration. So pretty much a God can come in this reality and be the bad guy. They can be the good guy. They can do some sadistic dark things. They can do some things that help people. They can be self-serving, um, self-indulgent. They can be about self-service to others, okay? So we're in a, we're in a really, really, a large multiverse with a lot of creators who are just living their life however they darn well please okay then it comes this time period where we're going through an ascension the whole planet is ascending okay um, Gaia is I believe she is mostly ascended on most timelines and then uh, <clears throat> and then there are let's see all right I won't go into all of that detail about that particular thing what I was about to say um, so with that being said during these final days with this ascension happening this is actually an amazing new thing and it's really it's really kind of cool to be here in person and be a part of this transition to, to as this shift you know to 5d consciousness and there are a lot of people who were long-term humans or um, or uh, humans, even star seeds, that are <clears throat> that are gonna be making decision to shift to 5D. So when it comes to judgment, the reason why I say you can't have judgment because you got to think of someone who, let's just say, a soul incarnated into this reality, and their intentions was to have a very low frequency life. They wanted to be a bad guy. They wanted to do bad things. Uh, everything that they did bad to people those creator guys agreed to play those roles with them and now we look at them let's just say this person has been publicly ridiculed for being a very bad person doing some very bad stuff let's just say this stuff makes us sick to our stomach to even hear about it that this person did right but this person has decided that they're gonna shift to 5d and they you know that was part of their intentions when they got here when it was time for the planet to split and to send to 5D, they, as a creator of God, decided that I want to end my game and go to 5D, right? So when these people decide to go into 5D, see, when we get to 5D, we're going to be all, um, we're going to be all knowing that we're gods at this point. And we're going to all be very, very telepathic. So if I was to see you, if I was to come in the same room or the same area with you, when I saw you, I would see your whole life. I would know you, like we would telepath. You would know everything about me. You would know every thought I ever had. You would know the bad, you know, anything negative that I may have done or anything I'm not proud of in my life that I may have done. And I'll know the same things about you. And so when you meet someone in 5D, that, that could be, it could be kind of jarring, you know, if you, you know, if you lived a certain type of life and you really didn't like, you know, you know, people being hurtful or negative. And if you meet somebody and you see their past, you cannot judge them off of what they experienced as a human here um, before coming to 5D. Because they were, we were all here for a game, for experience we signed up for. We knew it was gonna be duality. We knew that when we came into this planet that we were gonna be put in at the lowest vibration available. And we were gonna have to work our way back up, raise our vibration in order to help the planet and ascend our consciousness, okay? And so I've been thinking a lot about judgment and thinking about can I really let go? Can I hear somebody who did something 
very bad to someone? Am I going to be able to look at them in 5D and be like, I love you. I understand why you went through that. See, the thing is, the one thing about being telepathic and seeing their whole life, you'll see the bad things you there did, but you'll also see what led them down that path, what triggered them, you know, what happened in their life that conditioned them to be the way that they are, were. And you will be approaching them with, with love, with, um, with understanding, with, um, with comfort. You wouldn't, you're not going to be looking at them like, oh my God. He was a mass murderer. I cannot believe he is here. That that that's not how it works. <laughs> and if if you're gonna be judgy like that, and you're not gonna be able to accept that, you're gonna stay in the fourth dimension. See the fourth dimension, full duality and all of that. You can have judgment in the fourth dimension. Um, it's a lot of things you can do in the fourth dimension. But when it gets to 5D. You we are going more into oneness, okay? Um, early, lower vibrations in 5D is not all the way into oneness, but the higher, as you get to 5D, the higher you ascend, the more you go into oneness and oneness and merging with who you truly are again. And so I just was thinking about judgment. Am I able to let go and not judge? What if it's somebody that hurt me in my life? What if, what if I get to 5D and, 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 and they're there? You know, we have to be really re ready to like let go and forgive and and you know to think of it. When I went on, when I had my out of body experience on ayahuasca, I came back telling me I was immediately healed from all of the traumas and stuff I went through. But let me explain this a little bit further. When I mean healed, when I woke up to being a god, I knew that it was a game all of the pain and it went away i was like oh i knew i created an experience i knew i had people set up in my life to play different roles to help me get a certain experience and when i came back i long as i remember oh i'm a god they're a god they were doing what i asked them to do they were matching the vibration the frequency i was emitting they were matching. If something bad or toxic happened to me, that's because during that time, my frequency was low. And I attracted that frequency. And I can look at that and I can let go. And I can I can see this, okay, this was an experience. This was a game. I'm starting to remember I'm a god now, okay? All that, it's not going to matter. When we get home, the people who treated you, as in, they're, gonna, they're your friends. The people who treated you bad, the parents that tortured you, they're people you actually know. You know, they're... they're you can't like they may be like bad in this life and you can't be around them and i completely understand that because you know this is how it if your frequency ain't matching me right now you can't be around me but if you decide to raise your frequency and go past that negative stuff you used to do and you want to shift to 5d then that's quite all right we're all getting rid of things okay and so be ready for that be ready for being fully telepathic with everybody around you Meeting someone and knowing their whole life, uh, them knowing all your secrets. You know, it's get, it gets to the point where, you know, you might as well, if you're going to 5D, you might as well share everything that you've been hiding about yourself. If you have a spouse or someone close to you, you know, open up. Because if y'all going together, y'all going to find out everything anyway. And if y'all doing stuff like plant medicine, let me tell you something about plant medicine. A couple can do plant medicine. Ayahuasca will tell on you. <laughs> Ayahuasca will tell you. If they're holding on to something, if y'all ain't been communicating about something, if the, your spouse have been mad about something and didn't say nothing, it'll tell you if you had a spouse, I have a, I have a relative, a friend, a relative, who him and this girl did ayahuasca. And after experience, she said, oh my God, you cheated on me. I, ayahuasca told her. And he was like, oh my God, he didn't expect that. So... When, we, when me and my husband, we take ayahuasca, that whole telepathic thing opens up once the plant medicine kick in. We can read each other's thoughts. We can know, we know each other. And like, he knows what I'm thinking. He knows what I need. Like, I remember I had got nauseous and went into the bathroom. I was there for a long time. And I remember thinking, oh my God, I can't move. I really need some water. He came in there real quick. He said, I, I heard you needed water. <laughs> he said, I just know it. I, I can read your mind. And, 
And, you know, that's how it is going to be. You know, ayahuasca just lets us little dive into these realities. But we on this journey, but we're about to create these realities. We're about to be there. And doing that is we have to let go of judgment, you know. Don't judge people like judging me. She thinks she's a god. She's not a god. She's not all that, blah, blah, blah. That's still a judgment, okay? Because we're all souls and we're all one. I believe we're God. But because you're in your, a person might be in their experience. And believing that we are gods will infringe on their belief system. And they, they have a particular goal in this human life. And it's okay. But that's still judgment. When they're ready to pass the threshold of judgment and believe they're a god to go to 5D, they, they just have to let that go. And so, anyways, I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Thanks for watching. And um, be sure to sign up with my email if you resonate with my channel. And thank you for joining me today.